Hey, 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 welcome back everyone. It's Kaz with State of Decay Breakdown. Uh, when we last left off, you see we just created some suppressors and we're going to go ahead and create some more suppressors as we need them. So let's make those and let's make some biodiesel fuel. So when we resume, we can... Uh, uh, when we're ready, we can resume making pipe bombs. That's one of my goals for this level. It was the the real reason why I came to starters was to be able to replenish all of my munitions. And the way I do that is I come here, I build a working munitions tree. In Snyder's, I was lucky enough to get a machine shop with the ability to produce all of my munitions and that really helps so I made shop in Snyder's and I continued to manufacture all sorts of good explosives and stuff like that so oh, there's a zombie horde there's a whole lot of them in this area. Now that took care of all of them basically in one shot or most of them in one shot. Now I knew when I removed maybe about 25 episodes ago I, mo I removed my outpost in this area and I knew at that point that I would have a problem coming here because it's pretty much unprotected and every time I come up into this area I get attacked. It's probably also the reason why there's no longer an enclave in this area. They were probably attacked to death. This is a very active area for zombies and I think they just couldn't handle it. All sorts of specials and all sorts of uh, freaks will spawn here. That's who I was looking for. What That big red dot was this bloater guy. And let's see if I could just get around him. Shoot him. If you saw a couple episodes ago, I opened the door and immediately was attacked by a feral with no warning or any and that happens sometimes. You'll it happens. So you always have to be aware and be ready for a feral attack. It seems in the later stages they they appear out of nowhere. So that gave us a little bit of influence and I think I will go and switch out my machine cutter blade for something else and sell that too. So we'll go into the supply locker. And what I'm planning to do is drop off this weapon and take out something that I will never use. Or that I have far too, too much of. We'll take another wrench out. Okay, and we will run back or drive back to the other enclave and sell it. And we will lose about 5 influence on this transaction. Or even 10 influence, but we lose influence when we do this. So be aware of that. When you're transferring from your locker to another locker, you will lose influence not a lot but it's I mean it's 
it adds up all of it adds up all right so this time we're gonna go up here this is not a secure area either but but there's people here so they keep it manageable and we'll sell that hmm I'm gonna buy this you got food and ammo that's pretty that's pretty good I'm gonna buy your ammo wish I knew that how come I didn't sure how much I've got okay come on let's get out of here pastor will always used to say God would provide no matter how bad things got he never lost faith me I'm not so sure about God but I've got faith in us and in you appreciate it I give Amelia another boost because I plan to use her yet again and then I am going to switch to my ninja I think I want to do some stealth activities so switching to the ninja will help me to do that well she's the only one that can do the really really heavy-duty stealth things but I plan to go up to Fairfield and clear out that entire area and if I could do it sneaky I will do it sneaky sorry I don't know why I even came over here it's just instinct to clean up things around your base I don't like to have them they will they will congregate into hordes and uh, that's no good so what I'm gonna do is go back here for a second and see if there's any special infected back here uh, sometimes there is sometimes there's ferals and juggernauts uh, this time there is not yes there is haha -ha. just like I said okay so let's do this be careful when you get out of your car on a slope it's really not a good idea Ugh, come on yeah call your friends really come on that's the way that's the way now call all your friends and get them burned nice get them burned oh well, that's how we're doing it okay that's how we're gonna do it fat guy you're just gonna come to my uh, to my watchtower pretty soon yeah I'm gonna shoot you I think I have plenty of ammo and we go over this fence because that's always fun that slows you down boom nice okay let's get my uh, truck and oh hey there's a whole bunch back here no feral I'll take you on I'll take you all on with just a weapon melee nice you too what about you another one where was that another one yeah that was I don't believe it here he comes here he comes 
Nice. We Come on, fat guy. Come on, fat guy. Oh, you're going to forget about me? I'm going to shoot you in the head then. Come on, fat boy. Really? You're too far away to be effective. Come on. Come on, walk this way. That should kill him. No? Let him fry. Watch him fry. See? He just fries. That's why I like the chemical incendiaries, because they burn for a long time just like that. And things roast and fry in them. So I can't can't wait for the new patch to come out, which is coming out pretty soon. Undead Labs is already speaking about it, so And that takes care of that guy. That was a little tricky fancy shooting there, Tex. Alright, so there's more here. Because those explosions will spawn more and more. Come on, guys. Come on. I'm just going to run them over. I got a little bit bored with them. So let's see what other stragglers happened. Here they are. Maybe we'll find another juggernaut. I was fortunate. There were two in a row. That rarely happens, so that was that was kind of cool. I really enjoyed that. Two juggernauts back to back, and strangely enough, no ferals. Lots of juggernauts, no ferals. I'm not complaining, but that means that sooner or later I'm going to get attacked by multiple ferals. That's usually how the game works. Okay, so we're going to go into Marshall. We have not gone to Marshall in quite a few episodes. Or at least not down by this portion of it. And let's take a look around. See if there's any fat guys. a lot of spawns down here. It gets a little bit treacherous when you come down here. My tape was running. You're gonna hear this. There's a fat boy. I see him. Into a jam. I see him already. Like they're in a bad spot. I want to offer them a hand. If you want to check it out, it's on your map. Oh, there's a lot of them. Yeah, there's a lot of them. That's the car door. That's the car door scenario. So whenever you do that, the car door... I think he heard me. No, but he's there. No, but he's there. And there's something else here, too, like a bloater or something. This guy. Okay, and what? You're coming after me? You are. So there's some fire. You could stew in that for a little bit. Run after me if you want. I don't plan to be there. I'm going to go up the block a little bit. And where are you? Where are you? I have to be aware of your position. There he is. There's Fat Boy. Look at Fat Boy go over the go over the uh, fence. Look at him running. He's pretty nimble, no? Yeah. 
And he's calling more guys. So I have to really play this well. Hmm. I could use some food. This is getting hairy now. Let's go back over this way. Oh, that got me. He got me. He got me. Oh, baby, watch out. Watch out. It's these stragglers, like I always say. He can't let him bring his boys. Once he brings his boys, it's over. But I've done this a couple times, so I'm not really that scared of him. I've done this more than a few times, so... I'll just keep doing that. Ooh, that was close. And we have one more of these, so... We're gonna trick him into tripping a mime. Come on, fat boy. That's gonna be the end of him. Let him just... There we go. So that's the end of that fat guy. That was pretty exciting. He gave me a run for my money, and uh, that was a little bit um, scary there for a while. Once he hits you and he gets into your um, personal space, uh, it's bad news, guys. You really don't want him to get into your personal space, and you want to use the environment to your advantage. So if you have to run and go into a house where he can't follow you, by all means, that's what I would suggest. Go into a house, use those fences. Um, you know, you have to use everything at your disposal. The last thing I'm going to tell you is to just melee. You know, that's just not the answer. That's foolhardy. I've seen people do that, and unless you have a good understanding of the game and how to use your snacks and how to use your meds and to do all of that good stuff you're gonna have a problem who's this? I don't know but I'm gonna help them it's Hannah Confirm. Where's that here? Here? I didn't even know there was a I didn't even know there was a mission here Okay, come on, Hannah. I've... Let's do this. Fine. Let's move. Let's go find him. He's over here anyway. <laughs> Found ya. Better look around. <laughs> Got him. Nice. Takes care of those guys. Take care. Take care. Thank you, Hannah. Thank you for being there, I guess. Are you just going to stand there? Okay. That's not very wise, but if that's how you're going to do it, that's fine. One more juggernaut before the end of the video? What do you say, guys? What do you say? Maybe a feral, if we're lucky? Let's go over here. They sometimes are spawning here no nothing no missions I suppose you've decided whether or not we can join you yeah I've decided and you're not joining ah feral yes it's a feral what's my loadout not too much huh guys not so great gotta say I guess that's him. Yeah, better make these count. Especially since I don't have a suppressor. So let's head back home and we'll load up again. And we'll continue in the next episode. So I hope you're enjoying my playthrough. 
I think that was four juggernauts and a feral. So if you're keeping count, I think we're up to a hell of a lot of specially infected killed in this level. So I'm curious now when I end the, the level and it shows me my, statist my statistics, how many specially infected I've killed. Has to be hundreds. Hundreds. I would be really happy if we were in the thousands. I'd feel really proud. So thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to like my videos and subscribe to my channel if you like this one. And uh, we'll see you soon. This is Kaz signing off. Take care. Peace.